What's up guys, it's XO here and today I'm going to be telling a story but before I get into that I want to talk about one thing. I want to talk about this Colt RC. So basically Colt, they restarted recently and they uploaded an RC. So I'm trying to get in as a content creator and a sniper. So I would appreciate it if you guys would really show support on my recent videos considering I haven't been uploading for a month. And I just got back into it about two to three days ago. I forgot exactly how much it was. But without further ado, let's get into the video. Alright, so this took place in fifth grade. Alright, I was 10 years old and at the time I lived really close to my elementary school so I would walk to school and sometimes I would ride my bike. So this was a Friday, I rode my bike to school and I have a friend who lives about a block away and his dad's a police officer. So I saw his mom and I saw him after school in the car and she said, oh you want to come over? And I'm like, you know what, yeah I'm down, we can hang out. And he's like, yeah man, we play some baseball, you know how it is, we out here. And the first thing his mom says is make sure your parents know you're coming over. And I'm like, oh yeah, no worries, you know. And I was like, eh, I could go home and then go to his house. And then I'm like, eh, or I could go to his house. And from there I can call my dad, let him know I'm alright. You know, nothing happened, I didn't get raped, I didn't get lost on my way home. And I was like, you know, it's a perfect plan. So, I follow him, we get to his house, and I'm like, hey man, I don't know my dad's number, so can you call your dad and tell him to tell my dad that I'm fine, that I'm at your house, and you know, nothing happened, it's all good, I'm just checking in. He said, yeah, no problem, man, and I stepped out of the room for a second, I don't remember why, I think I had to go to the bathroom, but I stepped out of the room, and then I came back, and I'm like, alright, man, did you tell him? He's like, yeah, 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 it's all good, and little did I know, my friend, the fucking idiot, didn't tell my dad, or didn't tell his dad, or tell my dad anything. He didn't call his dad, or I think he did, or he tried, or attempted, and his dad didn't pick up. So after a few minutes went by, we were outside, we were just playing some baseball, it's been about 30 minutes now, and all of a sudden I see my fucking dad jump over this big ass fucking sofa, this couch, and I'm like, what the fuck? This nigga used to run in the fucking Olympics. I couldn't believe what I was seeing with my eyes. My dad is a big, you know, heavy-weighted man. I couldn't believe he had the power in those legs to jump over that fucking couch. It was like watching someone jump over five hurdles at the same time. And when he sees me, he's like, what the fuck are you doing? What the fuck? We thought you got lost. And since we were playing baseball, sadly, I had the bat. You can probably guess what happened next. He grabbed the bat out of my hand. He says, come on, we're going home. And then he starts hitting me with the bat. He didn't hit me in the head. He didn't hit me, you know, in the face. But he hit me in my back. He hit me in my ass, my legs. Like a one time in the stomach, I think. I don't remember why, but... Basically, we walk home, he's shirtless, he has no shoes. He was telling me I can't do that, I can't just run off, I can't just go to my friend's house, I have to talk to him first. And I'm trying to explain, like, I told my friend to call you, his dad to call you. He's like, no, 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 stop. None of that bullshit. And I'm like, all right, you know what, just whatever, I'll take the L. So as we walk home, I see the cops outside my house. My mom was crying, my sister was crying. And honestly, I couldn't believe my sister was crying. That's just, that's astounding to me, to be honest. Even the ice cream man was looking for me, it was just a mess. My dad even went to the school, he was barefooted, shirtless, you know, kind of crying because he thought he lost me forever and he was never going to get me back. And for some reason he thought I was at the school, so he talked to my principal, talked to all my teachers. But luckily a friend in my neighborhood saw me go over to my other friend's house, the one that didn't call his dad to tell my dad. And he told my dad, he's like, oh, I saw him go over there, are you looking for him? And my dad at that point started running to where I was at and he saw my bike in their garage because their garage was open and that's when he walked in the house and we were, keep in mind we're really good friends with these people like obviously like we would knock first but at this point if you actually think about it you know he has a reason not to so he just walked in you know he ran in there he jumped over the couch and when he saw me he started hitting me with the bat and i'm like oh man oh man i'm gonna get whooped and the first thing i thought when i got home was like oh my god they're gonna ground me forever never leaving the house again I'm never gonna be able to walk to school again never gonna get a bike again but you know what they actually did they got me a phone that's when I got my first phone it was at that time they thought I deserved it so they gave me a phone and I finally had my first phone and I didn't really get in trouble I think they were so sad and they were all crying and you know they thought they lost me forever that they forgot to ground me so I didn't really get grounded didn't get in trouble for that lucky that my friend was there to tell my dad where I was or else it would have been way worse. Parents were so thankful that he actually spotted me that they took him out to eat. But hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you leave a like, comment. I actually appreciate all the support and subscribe if you haven't already.